Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> That's so cute. I like her hat. Yeah, you just wanted the grape that bad? Ooh, cheese grape, yes. Weakness. Hmm? Oh. Come on, let's go do something fun. They will. There's got to be something else you can do.
Right. I, I feel like that is the best feeling for anyone. <laughs> And that's okay to be nervous, babe. Well, it's obvious it's what's her face. I'm wondering what the hell she's going to say about Sato, though. Get up cracking who she really is. Just one question. Right. <laughs> oh my god, nine.
right? Right, and then yet you talk bitchy about both of them. Right? Because something about this doesn't really make the most sense. This girl is a mother effing trip. <laughs> but you know what? I like her in a good way. Yeah, she's pissed me off a couple of times with how rude she can be. And I get it. She's only trying to better themselves, uh, especially about this situation. But still, sometimes she goes a little too far. I get that, because I think if it was anybody else, they would feel the same thing. Oh, this is becoming even more complicated, but good.
it'll be different this time. All right. Of course. Bye, they're so cute. <laughs> Yeah, probably maybe to see who would be the first person to come up to y'all. Oh, come on, damn it.
I need a moment. Jesus Christ. That was super scary, though, because every single person that was coming up, like, yes, I get it. You want to say something negative because it's like, damn, this persona, this mask, this facade that these two have had that you've known them for is gone and they're going in this different light and such. But there were still people who were like, I still love and support them and want to defend them regardlessly and such. I'm not saying majority of these fans are stands or anything. Um, we've talked kind of really about stan culture and such. Like, and sometimes how stan culture can be toxic and stuff. Yes, because it can be. But this was a, a way where the stan culture in a way for this episode was for the better and such. Yes, you had people agreeing or disagreeing with some of the things that they did, but you had fans who were like, just because they did this doesn't mean I don't want to support them anymore. I still support them, but yes, they got me through X, Y, and Z when I was like this during the good times, during the bad times. And that's what I really love about some fandoms and stuff. Even though, yes, any fandom... Yes, any fandom can be toxic as fuck. There's not a fandom that's always going to be, like, 120 to a thousand percent, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy. That was sweet. Okay. With, with, once again, fandoms. Like I said, yes, some can be toxic. Some can not be toxic. Toxic. There is never, I will say, a group that is not toxic. If you've been a part of a fandom and such, there always is that one moment where you're like, you just don't associate yourself with that fandom anymore. So, for an example, I can say, Hero Academia and such. I have not been a part of that fandom or associated with myself with that fandom for like the past maybe good four years ever since it like kind of blew up on TikTok and stuff and then some other things that we saw on TikTok that we're not really going to talk about because some of them are not the greatest. And seeing how wild that fandom is, I'm, I'm kind of still, once again, glad that I got out when I did and stuff. Like, I feel like now I cannot watch that show without thinking of that fandom. Like, sometimes I can be, like, ish and such, but at the same time, I think for what that show has done for me, especially for my channel up until now, like, yes, loved it in the beginning. I will still always be grateful for that show. But there was always, I think a lot of us can say there was always, like, a turning point and such, and I think maybe that was some time, maybe after I started reading the manga and such, and even with things that were going on in the fandom and everything, but at the same time, yeah, I still enjoyed it, but I feel like now, when I look at the show, and especially where it is as of now, and, like, I'm so excited for all these things to come and such, and you get this, like, half-ass adaptation that we're getting for it now, you just feel empty inside. And such. It was one of those animes that are always like, oh my god, like this is a holy grail, like you can't do no wrong with it. To now when I look at it, I'm like, it, it feels like an empty shell of what it once was. Especially when you look at the quality and stuff. It's just nuts. And and, and that could be for any freaking anime. Think about like Sailor Moon Crystal in a nutshell. Because Sailor Moon Crystal in a nutshell had like a lot going for it. In good and bad, but you know... I, I have not heard, like, a lot of people talk about SMC, like, in a long-ass time. And that also says something. But I digress. This is a really good episode. This was probably the most emotional episode, really. Not only for those two, but for me, too, as well. Um, it also just makes you, like, think at the same time. Um, 
how much you have to care for your fans and how much your fans support you in like everything that you do and such. And so even though, because I know I haven't said it in a while so for you guys and I'll probably end up putting it in a post. But once again, thank you. Seriously. I mean, like, it, it's still a fucking dream with the ish that I'm doing and such. But you guys are like genuinely the sweetest, even though I haven't like done a stream in like the longest time and such because, you know, busy being a normal person and then coming home and doing this and stuff but you know even like if I do stream because the plan is to possibly this week since I finally played my game and finished my game um and probably gonna do the second playthrough and such I do want to spend more time with you guys and such and you guys are like you know my my other family in a way that I get this out to whenever I'm like hey you know how you doing how's life and it's like that but yeah once again, thank you for being a part of this, whether you're someone who just joined today out of the blue for something or, you know, you've been here since <laughs> the beginning and such. Like, seriously, thank you so much for being here and, you know, being able to talk to me whenever, like, I get in, like, a rut or I get super duper upset about something. Could be anything, friends, family, um whatever because when I'm not able to talk to my mom or any of my other friends I really love the fact that I can come and talk to you guys and voice my opinion on it and you guys also get to voice your opinion on what you think I should do and vice versa when you guys are feeling upset and I'm able to like at least give you some sort of opinion on what I think that you possibly should do not nine out of ten you don't have to choose my decision and such and I'm totally fine with that you know regardless you know because you're only saying things for people's opinions and such. But seriously, thank you. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 7 of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the actual squad. And, of course, and I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.